test. All right, we'll try a second test of Harvey. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put it in. This is now in um, manual. And what I'm going to do is uh, flick it in automatic. Um, yeah, I'll flick it in automatic now. There's Gordon. That's Gordon struggling with that sail in the black wetsuit. And there's Mervyn. And he's not doing too badly. Both of them, of course, are standing still. I don't think that's the name of the sport, but that's what we've got so far. Ah, huh? Mervyn's beginning to go like a tortoise. He's off and running, but two feet a minute. Maybe not quite that fast. <laughs> and there he is, a speck in the ocean. We'll show you how the inner mechanics work. There he is, captain of his own craft, motionless. And here comes our intrepid son, Gordon, struggling with that sail. Come on, Gordon. boy. You got it. <laughs> I think that was for our benefit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure he didn't do that um, by accident. I'm sure that was on purpose. Gordon Hecker. Masters surfboard rider. Here he goes. Up. He'll get it yet. They tried to talk me into one of those things, but there was no way. You just don't have your baby. See these other people, they're holding yeah. their arms straight out, and Gordon was holding his arms straight up. Oh. Well, he's short too, like me. Pardon? He's short like me. <laughs> what? Do the boots help? Uh, the boots are slippery, but they keep you, they keep you warm. This is a unique way of traveling by water. It's called walking on water. Uh, give or take five or six, three or four. There's Mervyn, trying to get that sail up after he took a spectacular fall, which I missed. That's Mervyn again. Hey, let me use the tank once in the pool. Remember that. That was cool. I just had a physical. I think he's got it. And here goes Aubrey, off for a sail. And he's up. He's struggling with that sail. Up it comes, and he's got it. Is he going to keep it? No. Ladies and gentlemen, that is dip number one. Now back to that speck in the distance. That speck happens to be our old friend Merv Rosenzweig. Merv is pretending that he's not going to go out for a sailboard uh, ride today. He's going to swim and push that thing around four or five times. He's gone up and down once or twice. 
And he's just practicing now. There he is. He's going to struggle with that board. And who's going to win? He's up. He's down. He's up. There he is. Is he going to stay there? Watch and see the next episode of The Adventures of Mervyn Rosenspy. Hero Exemplar. And here's our young hero, Aubrey. Whoop. He's got it. He's had it. No, he's still got it. And he's had it. And there goes Aubrey, he's finally got it. And he's beginning to scoot along. Whoop. Oh well. Win some and you lose some. There's our friend Mervyn. This is some five, six minutes later. I think Mervyn is just trying to strengthen his uh, muscles today. He's been trying to wrestle this thing to death. Mom, what are you doing sitting on the beach like that? <laughs> Let's get a close up. Why are you hiding under there? Because I'm telling secrets. Under You're there. telling secrets. What kind of secrets are you telling under there? I'm telling people's fortunes. Would you like to come into the clear? Oh my God. Tell you what, your fortune? Ladies and gentlemen, here on the beaches of Lake, what lake is this? Georgian <laughs> Bay. Georgian Bay. Sheila Hecker will tell your fortune. When I take my finger off, does it stop? No. Nope. How do I stop it? Push it again. In the red A couple minutes later, let's see, he's pulling that sucker up. The score is the sale three, Aubrey two right now. And these rocks in the side have only tried to nail him a couple of times with no luck. Here goes Aubrey into the rocks. No. And the sale four, Aubrey two. Oh. He's still struggling. He's going to hit those rocks if he can. Let's see if he can do it. And maybe. No, it looks like he's going to successfully pull around the rocks. Aubrey Dan, lady. Oh! <laughs> Did you catch Aubrey that? Dan. Game, which is, which is Merv Rosenswag? Is it this windsurfer? This windsurfer? The windsurfer in the middle? Or is it that guy in the water down there? Let's see if we can get a closer look. Oh, it's not him. It's not him. And no, it's not him. There is Merv. Oh, is that? No. Sorry, Merv. Good luck. Look at the property that's 135 feet wide. This is the offer, or the survey rather, of the property. Property faces looking out the front door. There's a divided road at this point with trees planted down the center. On the other side is another road with cottages on the far side. The house. It's a small home. 
single garage. This is the side of the house. You'll notice the stained glass window which leads into the master washroom. And there's a lower bedroom window. That's the master bedroom window. Here's the back of the house. Over here, this window is the master bedroom window again. Bedroom window and the lower window is another bedroom. A balcony with another a family room under that balcony, those windows. With a large storage shed which has a sink. And here are the grounds. Here's the boathouse, which is a year old. Dock. This dock extends out a good uh, 30 feet by about four feet, I would say. The interior of the boathouse, there's already a boat in it with a very good marine railway. This is a view of the property from the end of the dock. Sweeping around the bay, which is called Shingles Bay. This is the shoreline. The storage shed with the sink. The house. The house on the side of the property. The driveway leading right down. This is a view from the balcony itself. of the house that we would think of extending, either per perhaps by excavating so that the lower level would be a walkout and uh, extending that lower level by about 10 feet out, forming a 10 foot deck onto the uh, upper floor. When we came by on Friday, we were right. looking at the house down the street, mm -hmm. uh, which we didn't care for. And uh, on the, the way, one on the street. No, no, not that one, honey. Peter no, Nell. No, no, it has a for sale. Sign. Peter Nell. It no, it doesn't have a sale. No, I guess he didn't want to put one up. And we just looked at the place up here on Victoria Point. So on the way back, we thought we'd come here. Oh, I'm glad you did. This is our friend Mitch and Lily. Hi, Hi Mitch. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Is it cottage shopping? Oh, no. Yeah, we do this regularly once every year or twice every year. <laughs> well, we've been looking for five years. We're getting five. tired of looking. Five? <laughs> Fifteen. Sit down. No, no, we we have have we're going to go. We have to go out for dinner with Gordon. Gordon. And then oh, I think we're going to go out for dinner Oh, all right, what are you doing in my I don't know Just why he wants me. But he probably is too shy to tell me not to come. Gordon is starting to work in Montreal next week.
this and cottage for sale near Vicious Place. Away, he asked us, enormous. asked if I could come yeah. to Montreal. Yeah, it's going for about 500,000. I heard about it. Oh, okay. It's got to resist tennis courts. It's an old English two-wheel house. It's right, right down the Alba we Golf Course Road. It's a view. Yeah, I heard it was one for 549. A few hundred thousand dollars more than one. I thought we'd go to Goodwill with him. He's going to have to do that himself. April 12th, and this is the front of the cottage uh, from the driveway, and you can see how the uh, new peak uh, has been added to the front, uh, matched by a second peak uh, over the stairwell. This is walking around the side of the cottage towards the lake. And you can see the new deck, which is not yet finished. Here it is from my neighbor's lot. There will be stairs over here, and the railing will go all around the deck. Approaching from the water side, you can see how the deck extends quite a distance over the master bedroom. This is inside, entering from the lake side. This is the new bedroom that's been added. There will be a step along here because that's too high a drop. This is the uh, living room, rec room area downstairs. And this is the new kitchen downstairs. The stairwell leading upstairs and the downstairs hall. There's a bathroom. This is a storage area in here. Then a bathroom in here. One of the original bedrooms where we have enlarged the size of the window and dropped the grade so that you can have a feeling that you're above ground. We'll put a cedar hedge up along the property line so that cottage is out of view. Walking into the next bedroom, that also was existing uh, and uh, was below grade, mostly. We dropped the grade. We've added this window and significantly increased the size of this window. And you can now see the deck outside and your eye is naturally attracted to the water. So it's still quite light. Coming in from the front door, this will be all glass over here and there will be two there will be two pocket glass doors in this area here so that when you enter in the winter those doors will be closed but you can still get the view right out
There's a central beam. This is 18 feet high at this point, looking out to the lake. This is the new fireplace that's been put in. And you can see the new windows, which we saw from the front of the property. And that's the stairwell over there. And that is Gordon Hecker over there. This is the kitchen that will all be recovered. This is the new bathroom and the new laundry room. The microwave and the fan duct. The kitchen stove will go right in that location. And the fridge will go here. That's the entrance. Here's a view from the deck. You can see how close the water is now. And I'll have a cedar hedge blocking out that uh, boathouse. Walking along the deck towards the master bedroom area, you can get some feeling for the size of the master bedroom windows and the size of the deck outside of it. It's about 20 feet at this point. There will be a stairwell where I'm standing, leading down, and that's the window looking into the living room with the bedroom windows on this side. And that's Ray Knight, who's responsible for all of this grandeur. I don't know whether that's good or bad. <laughs> Got you captured for eternity now, Ray. Here's the contractor, and here's the architect planning my financial downfall. Now, once again, looking into this room to give you a feel for the size of it and the beam. Those inserts will be for track lighting and there'll be two electric fans hanging down from there. Uh, May 9th and I'm standing outside the cottage. We've just moved in a couple of days ago. That's Karen. You can see that they put on a new door on the garage, the door into the garage, and also a new front door. into the front door. This is the front vestibule, which is all glass. The fireplace. And the living room dining room. This is the server that will act as a buffet. The dining room. This is now taken from the other side, looking toward the street. And there's Jamie and Sheila. This is standing on the deck. looking across the bay. Down towards the new patio. The boathouse. And Gordon. Master bedroom.
fireplace again. The view outside the window. Our bedroom, standing at the doorway. And the master bathroom, shower, walk-in closet, and a stained glass window. This is the view from our bedroom. This faces the street side. Here's the stairwell leading downstairs. That's the glass looking right into the reception hall or vestibule. Standing at the foot of the stairs, looking into our second kitchen, our convenience kitchen, a living area, a living room downstairs. You can see how light and bright it is from the windows above the stairwell. We've also left that window that goes into the bedroom. I'm standing downstairs under the deck. This is the new patio that is in the process of being installed. There's Jamie, just trying to uh, take me over the edge. That's all, standing at attention. At ease, guys, at ease. That's better. There they are. We still don't have the railing in. And here's somebody who's at ease with his big feet. Oh, uh, the two of them. And the young lady of the house. At attention, thank you, Sheila. There's a picture of Sheila taking a picture of Jamie. And our first of official visitors to the house, the Rosenzweigs and the Shears, up for lunch. And as you can see, they've helped us clear the table. And here are the Rosenzweigs. And they've all come to join. And now that they've eaten, they're going to run. Well, I have to clean up. Notice Does how that I have sound? Of course. Yeah. Sure, it has sound. Okay. Then Sheila put that on. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sheila. <laughs> Sheila and Sheila and her, uh, what do you call it? Dust and dust her dust, 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 dust buster. Yeah. And this is what she does on Mother's this Day. This is what she does. <laughs> this is a good Great mother. Mother's Day. <laughs> okay. And we're leaving. We're leaving. Okay. And we're saying goodbye. <laughs>